Hi, welcome to this platform where we teach you mathematics, science, and biology. All right, so uh, in this video, our discussion will be on this exam question. This is additional mathematics. So, how do you work out a question like this one without wasting uh, your time? I'll read the question for you and try to put up some uh, steps that will help you understand on how to go about this question. Find the value of P for which the perpendicular bisector of the line joining points 2,5 and negative 4,7 passes through point negative 4, P. All right, so um, it is very important to understand what this and uh, this mean so what do these two words mean so when we say perpendicular if two lines are perpendicular to each other they are gradients when you multiply them they give you negative one okay and when we say bisector it means it's passing through the center okay so let me let me let me, let me just use uh, let me just use this to help out or to help you understand. Let me just use the graph. So let's say you have a X O Y plane or a Cartesian plane. This is X axis and this is Y axis. All right. So uh, on this point, you have a point right here okay and uh, another point is uh, right here so these two points are joined like this there's a line okay joining those two points and uh, maybe we say right here you find a point x sub 1 comma y sub 1 okay and here x sub 2 comma y sub 2 so you have a point right here and here you have these two points and we are pretending these two points are these okay these are the two points and then they say the perpendicular bisector of these two perpendicular bisector of these two points will be the midpoint okay will be the midpoint right here the line that is passing at the center of these two points right here okay so this will be our center okay the center and we call the center as z x sub 3 comma y sub 3 okay so this is our center and it's a perpendicular bisector okay and uh, We'll pretend this point where it's passing, this point, if you want to find the value of P, will be maybe somewhere here. This is where the point will be. And this is maybe X sub 4 comma P. All right. So since we have that, uh, we have this uh, graph over here. So what we can do to answer this question, we we'll first find the midpoint of these two points 
after finding the midpoint, we come and find uh, the, the gradient, or we can start with the gradient, and then we go to the midpoint, the gradient of this line, we go to the midpoint. After finding the midpoint, we use that this midpoint to find this line. Once we find this line, we know, let's say we've, uh, uh, this is y is equal to um, uh, 2x plus maybe plus 4, okay? We use that formula to come and, or we use that equation to come and find it, this uh, point by letting x is equal to whatever is here and then we find the value of p. Okay, let me put it in, in, into practice. Oh. So like I said, the first thing, will be to find uh, the midpoint. So we have 2 comma 5 right here and uh, 7 uh, negative 4 comma 7. So these are the two points. Okay. So since we have these two points, we can find uh, the gradient. So for finding the gradient, we'll say m is equal to y sub uh, 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So here we can uh, say our y sub 1 we write like this like uh, uh, this like this. So these are y sub 1 these subscript 2. So here what are we supposed to put? It's 7 minus here 5 over negative 4 minus 2 okay so next step here we will say uh, whether 2 over negative 6 of which when we simplify we will have 1 negative 1 over 3 this is what we have this is the the gradient joining these two points or the gradient of the line that is joining these two points now since we have found that gradient and mind you this weight perpendicular what it means perpendicular it means if you have a line like this the perpendicular is cutting like this okay a line for example moving like this and then if you want to find the, the line that is perpendicular to this we just see do this it's supposed to be 90 degrees okay so here the 90 degrees is here it's perpendicular and we say if you have a gradient of this line let's say the gradient of this line is 2 okay the gradient of this one will be negative 1 over 2 you reciprocate it will be negative 1 over 2 the inverse and change the sign the sign here was positive for this one Put a negative if it was negative this one will be positive so since we have this gradient we will change we we'll call our gradient one the gradient that we need to use okay to find the line that is perpendicular we will change this will be just a three so this is the gradient we want it will just be a three because we have uh, reciprocated it, okay? And the sign has changed, it was negative, it's now positive. All right, so now we can find the midpoint. After finding the gradient, we can find the midpoint. So let me do this. So to find the midpoint here, over, or the midpoint between these two points, we can use the formula for finding midpoint which is x sub 2 plus x sub 1 over 2 comma y sub 2 plus y sub 1 over 2 so this is the formula we need to use what is our x sub uh, 2 it's negative 4 plus sub 1 is 2 over 2 here comma y sub 2 is 7 plus a 5 sub uh, 1. So we can do our calculations nicely. 
So once we do our calculations, we find that here we are remaining with negative 2, comma 2. Here it's 12. Sorry, negative 2 over 2, comma 12 over 2. Right here we have a negative, uh, negative 1, comma 6. So this is the point, okay, at which the perpendicular line is passing. It's more like this one. So what you've just found is a point like this one, okay? Like this, where the line is passing. So now we need to find the value of P. So how are we going to find the value of P? Since we have the gradient of this line and this point, we can find the equation of this line and we can come and replace the, uh, the value of X by whatever we have right here. So here, we use the gradient we just found right here for perpendicular line and the point. We find the equation of the straight line. So this is how it will look like. We have uh, y is equal to mx plus c. This is the formula of finding the straight uh, equation of the straight line. So our gradient our m is over here, is what we're supposed to put here, and then the point that we're using for x and y is negative 1, comma 6 to put here to solve for c. So we say 6 is equal to our m is a 3. Here we have negative 1 plus c. So of 6 here, we have negative 3 plus c. When we group the like terms, we have uh, something like this. Here we have uh, 9 is equal to C. So our C is 9. We can write the equation. So the equation is like this. We have found the equation that is perpendicular. Okay, the equation we have found. So now since we found this equation, let me, let me, let me, let me write here. We have found this equation. So what we can uh, what we can do next will be to get the given point. Okay, the point right here, negative four comma p. Okay, so we've just gotten this uh, point negative four comma p. So and uh, get the equation we have, which is right here. Replace the value of x. So we are solving for y because this is y-axis. So say p is our y. Okay? This p is equal to uh, 3. Our x is negative 4 plus 6. p will be equal to negative 12 plus 6. We've just multiplied what is inside the brackets. And our p will be equal to negative, uh, negative what? Negative, uh, this actually, this is 9, not 6. Sorry, this is 9. This is 9. 9 here and 9 here. We found the value of c to be equal to 9. It's 9. So it will be negative 4. I mean negative 3. Is it 3? Yeah, negative 3. So the value of p is equal to negative 3. Thank you so much for watching. Kindly subscribe to this channel. Like, don't forget to comment. If you are commenting, your comments will motivate me and likes to make more and more videos for you. Okay? So don't forget to subscribe and uh, comment as well as liking. Bye-bye.